Terrebonne General Medical Center is known as a leader in cardiovascular care throughout both the region and the state. In November, TGMC's Chest Pain Center was awarded a prestigious international accreditation designated by the Society of Cardiovascular Patient Care, joining an elite group of hospitals in the world who have achieved this distinct honor. Here tonight to discuss this acclaimed accreditation are Delyn Bollinger, RN Clinical Quality Coordinator, and Sam Mathern, RN Chest Pain Center Coordinator. All right, thank you very much for being here tonight, Sam and, and Delyn. Uh, we're here to talk about chest pain accreditation and some of the wonderful things y'all do at TGMC and what it takes to, to get, uh, I guess, the awards, the prestige, and, and why that's important. But why exactly is, is accreditation important for, for a chest pain program? Hey, first of all, thank you for having us over here. We're very proud of uh, achieving this accreditation at our facility. Cool. First of all, it is a... An accreditation is granted by the Society of Cardiovascular Patient Care. Okay. Uh, it's an international organization whose sole mission is to eliminate coronary artery disease as the number one killer of patients worldwide. Um, the type of accreditation we have at our facility is chest pain center with PCI. PCI stands for percutaneous coronary intervention, right. which means balloon angioplasty and stenting to open up blocked arteries that are causing heart attack. Right. Um, as you know, South Louisiana has a very high incidence of coronary artery disease, and having an accreditation, having an accredited chest pain center in our community helps increase the chances of survival of a patient having a heart attack. Um, the accreditation process helps facilities uh, define their strengths, um, identify and improve processes, and recognize opportunities to enhance cardiac care provided. Um, TGMC chose to pursue this accreditation to validate the quality of care that patients receive at our hospital uh, in comparison to national benchmarks. Wow. Okay. And obviously, this accreditation doesn't occur overnight. Mm -hmm. So what, what are some of the things that y'all had to do to prepare to, to get this accreditation? Right. It was, it was a, a big project that involved a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, the process required to achieve the designation as a chest pain center with PCI, uh, is, it's a multifaceted comprehensive and complex process. It involved uh, a tremendous amount of coordination among emergency medical services, which is Acadian Ambulance, uh, our emergency medical staff at Terrebonne General, the professional staff, and also cardiac services, which are exclusively provided uh, at our hospital by Cardiovascular Institute of the South. And, and we've got a shot of a number of those people. That looks like a lot of your group, and I can see who's in the middle. We can see who's in the center of that. <laughs> but like you said, it's a large group, but again, you know, it takes some, some very special coordinators like yourselves to be able to, to really keep that together. Coordinators uh, really need to do that. Good, Jake. Okay. And we'll, you mentioned Acadian Ambulance. Mm -hmm. uh, we have other community partners I'm sure you'll have. What, what are some of the ways that y'all have collaborated with, with those partners to get faster treatment for people with chest pain? One example I could give you is um, uh, Acadian Ambulance Medics, uh, when they arrive on scene at a patient with suspected heart attack, they have the ability to perform a 12 lead EKG, which is one of the main diagnostic tools used in uh, making the diagnosis of a, of a heart attack. Right. They are able to transmit these EKGs to facilities. Um, our hospital, TGMC, invested in the technology to, na to enable us to receive those 12 lead EKGs. Uh, while still on site, our physicians in the emergency department can interpret the EKG and make preparations for the patient before they even uh, get here. Wow, there's that's even, outstanding. Right, there's even some instances where the patients can bypass the emergency department, go straight into the cardiac catheter, catheterization lab where we can perform the uh, intervention to open up the block artery. Wow, that, that's fast. In, in for me, uh, I don't eat healthy a lot, so I'm sure this is going to come up one time. When I, when I have a heart attack, when, when, when I present to the TGMC, how fast you know, can I expect or, or people can expect to receive treatment when they're there? Well, I can answer that for you, okay. Jacob. Once patients get to the hospital, we have um, 
we have a term called door to balloon. And that actually means by definition is when the patient actually gets to the hospital, arrives to the door until they get to the cath lab. And as Sam mentioned, that artery is as angioplasty putting that balloon in. So we call that door to balloon. Our patients come in, our door to balloon time right now is 52 minutes. The national benchmark is about 64.5 minutes. So we're very proud of, of that time to get those patients in. And as Sam said, if they do those EKGs out in the field, a lot of times they can bypass the ER, go straight to the cath lab. So the motto I like to kind of say is that early recognition leads to early repolarization, opening up that vessel, which leads to positive outcomes for our patients. Wow, fantastic. And what, is, what exactly was the process that uh, Terrible in general has gone through to achieve this uh, accreditation uh, in this international designation, I believe it's not just only national, but... Right, right. First of all, what we did when we started the process was we got this, this binder we called our accreditation tool. And up on the screen, you can see that there are, um, there are eight, we call them key elements integrating emergency department with local emergency medical systems. We assess, diagnostic, diagnosed, and treated patients quickly, um, effectively treating patients with low-risk ACS, that's acute coronary syndrome, continually seeking to improve processes and procedures, ensuring chest pain center personnel competency and training. Um, maintaining the organizational structure and commitment, functional designs, and then also supporting community outreach programs. That is so important. Um, supporting those community outreach programs, talking to the patients, letting everybody know what the signs and symptoms are of po pa people possibly having a heart attack so that they can get to the hospital quickly and we can get that um, vessel open. And, and like you mentioned, having a program like this and letting people know some of these factors matter. We're gonna take a short break. When we come back, more on the accreditation and what's been done here at Terrible in General for us and our community. Don't go anywhere. Even after six decades, Terrebonne General Medical Center has never lost the genuine compassion that inspires our exceptional care. We share in the joy of your new arrivals and your family's second chances. After all, our dedicated doctors and nurses and staff are proud to call this community home. At TGMC, the innovations of today take on new life tomorrow. Welcome back. So very glad you're joining us. We have Sam and Delenn here from Terrebonne General Medical Center telling us a little bit more about some of the things they do with the chest pain center. And so I appreciate that information and getting people the help more quickly is awesome. And the fact that y'all have an international award for that is fantastic. So Sam, getting back to that, what are some of the benefits of the accreditation? Uh, Keith, the, uh, one of the few of the benefits are it demonstrates to the community TGMC's uh, commitment and dedication to providing exceptional cardiac care. As you saw in the picture earlier, there was a large team, a lot of uh, uh, members involved. Sure. It created a team approach to treatment of patients with heart attack and uh, symptoms of acute coronary syndrome. Mm -hmm. um, another benefit uh, is community awareness. Okay. Helping patients recognize the early symptoms of a heart attack, getting uh, to an accredited chest pain center when needed, and therefore reduce, and also learning how to reduce their risk factors. So there's, there's huge importance of the accreditation in general, but there's also that, what that means for that patient. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So Delenn, how is Terrebonne General staying on the forefront of these cardiac medicine? Well, Keith, continuing our intervention of cardiac care, that is very important. Um, we have state-of-the-art OR um, suites. We have a heart catheterization and peripheral um, suites, cath lab, um, we have progressive um, research. We continue to do research with CIS and Terrebonne General. Right. Um, also the community outreach that we mentioned. Prevention is a huge um, benefit of being able to reduce um, heart attack. We have um, he a healthy lifestyle center. Right. Uh, we do screenings. Mm -hmm. So with all of those collaborations of things, we hopefully will continue to be on the forefront for cardiac care. Wow, it sounds like y'all are not only you know, there's a lot of people that try to do things. You guys are doing it. And to be that much farther ahead of the benchmark nationally is huge in that time from the door 
to the balloon. That's right. fantastic. Yes, yeah. Fair. So, uh, Sam, can you tell us a little bit about um, early heart attack care and what we do for that? Yes. Uh, early heart attack care, or EHAC for short, okay. is a program that was started by the founder of the Society of Cardiovascular Patient Care, Dr. Raymond Barr. Right. It is a program that was designed to teach patients that heart attacks have beginnings. These blockages don't just occur at one short time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, it, it takes a long time for these things to develop. Patients can have symptoms that may be mild at first, right. such as pain with activity, mm -hmm. and then you can rest and right. it goes away. On exertion. Until it becomes more and more frequent and then right. becomes more severe and intense and constant. These heart attacks, these, the program that was designed is to teach families and, pa uh, and patients these signs and symptoms, to recognize the signs and symptoms, to get help immediately. Right. Not to pass it on as indigestion. It's not heartburn. Usual, exactly. <laughs> if it's getting more progressive, it's got to be addressed. And believe it or not, some people or some patients say they don't want to cause anybody any trouble. Right. They, they don't want to disrupt anybody. Right. So it is a plea to the community to seek care and get to the nearest accredited chest pain center as early as possible. Okay. And of course, the benefits of this and one thing that they teach in this program is to know that acting early can't prevent prevent heart damage, irreversible heart damage from occurring. And, and that's the one thing. We want to make sure that we get to a point where we're addressing those things early enough. You recognize those symptoms and go and get it addressed before it becomes something that can be lasting. Exactly. exactly. Okay. So, so as a community, how do we get involved and take action if we think, some, we think we or someone else is having a heart attack? What do we do? Right. Um, I've gone to a, a conference recently at the Society of Cardiovascular Patient Care. Dr. Raymond Ball, the founder of EHAC, or Early Heart Attack Care, uh, asked us to uh, recite a pledge with them. Okay. Uh, that's something I'd like for you and our viewers at home uh, to recite together. All right. We'll, we'll do it together. Yeah. And here we go. Um, one, two, three. I understand, I understand that, that heart attacks, attacks have beginnings, beginnings and, and on occasion, occasion signs of an impending heart attack may include chest discomfort, shortness of breath, shoulder and arm pain, and weakness. These may occur hours or weeks before the actual heart attack. I solemnly swear that if it happens to me or anyone I know, I will call 911 or activate emergency medical services. And we're going to leave that up there just for a second. We want people to know that, to take that oath, and to make sure that they're doing what they can. Now, uh, Sam, how can uh, I or people learn more about chest pain accreditation at, and Terrebonne General Cardiac Services? Uh, for more information, you can visit our hospital's website, www.tgmc.com, or call 985-873-4616. And so, listen, guys, I got to tell you, this is really helpful. So for Jacob and I, coming on just to listen to you guys tell us, you know, we've got ourselves and then our parents, the generation just above us, we're always, as a part of our community, it's not just the healthcare persons. It's not just RNs like yourself. We all need to be aware of what we can do. We all need to make sure that we can take this oath and understand that we're going to act quickly and not just throw it off to maybe intergestion or throw it off to I'm a little sore from something. We need to be aware of those things. The information you guys have provided tonight have been very, very helpful. And so let's put that information back up there again where they can reach you. That's www.tgmc.com or call 985-873-4616. So um, Delenn, thank you for being here. Sam, thank you Thanks. for being here. Thank you. We appreciate pleasure. it. This was very helpful. And again, on behalf of uh, Jacob and myself, congratulations thank on you your so award. Much. We appreciate it. All right, guys, don't go away. Uh, this ends our To Your Health segment. Coming up next, Stan Gravois with sports. Don't go anywhere.